Welcome back to wagertalk.com. We're shifting gears and heading to the NFL. Going to take a look at the New England Patriots as they travel to play the New Orleans Saints. And this is going to be Brian's best bet. I'm going to come to you first, Ralph. You got two teams coming off of disappointing losses. You got one team that did it on Thursday, so they have extra time to prepare, while the other team's coming off a short week playing on Monday night. How do you see this one? You know what? I know there's going to be a lot of public bettors who look at technical angles and are going to bet Brady and Belichick off a loss. They're nine and three off a straight up loss the last couple of years. Uh, but just an opposite note on that point. Over the last four years, the Saints have only been a home dog four times and they've covered all four. So you've got a spot of a great home, a great home situation. You know, I look at both of these offenses and I think they're bereft of their best wide receivers. You got Edelman out for New England. They're a different offense. Cooks from New from the Saints who got traded to New England. You know, Breeze missed him, and also Willie Sneed suspended for the first three games. So uh, Breeze has a lot less to throw to on the outside. But um, you know, it's a game that I'm gonna I'm gonna pass on this week for me. All right, Brian. Last week, New England. I mean, they started the game out, looked great that first quarter, moving up and down the field, and then they had that fourth and short when they could have extended the lead. Take the short field goal. They opted to go for it with, again, the math guys say go fourth and short. You're supposed to go for it instead of kicking the field goal. They went for it. They got stopped, and it seemed to change the momentum of the game. Kansas City got confidence, and all of a sudden we had a, a ball game. New England still had the lead going to the fourth quarter, something that they never give up a lead, you know, especially at home. But, man, what a fourth quarter by the Patriots' defense, or is the offense that good for Kansas City? Yeah, I'm not buying into the offense being that great for KC. Uh, and we've got the extra time off. Number one, you talked about off of a loss, how good New England is. Well, off of a loss in which your defense was just embarrassed. Uh, I really expect, you know, Belichick's a great defensive mind. Uh, they'll come out in this game and, and really uh, shut down the Saints. As you mentioned, the Saints don't have the weapons that they've had before. There's a lot of talk in the offseason that the Saints made some defensive changes. They didn't look like it in week one. I think they're a little bit better in what they showed uh, against Minnesota. So we're looking at two teams right now. The total's really high. And you're playing in a dome. You know, the general thoughts will be we're going to get two offenses. They're going to come out and really light it up. But if you watch Brady in that first game, he could not throw the ball with any accuracy down the field. And they were trying to do it constantly. And they, in fact, they did it too much. He was having more success stumping it off uh, the short. But the short passes, but Amendola was hurt in that game. He doesn't have the weapons that he's had in the past. So I think we're going to see a little bit more running here from both teams. Uh, they don't have the extreme pass catchers that they've had in the past. Um, they're going to want to limit the time their defense is on the field, especially if they start off not playing well like they did last week. So this, this is a game I think we're going to get some good value on the under. It wouldn't surprise me if it goes up a little bit more because of the high octane offenses, but I think the under is the way to go on this one. Yeah, this total opened up for our uh, listeners at 54. It's up to 56 already, uh, and yeah, people are going to look at those uh, scoring. One thing to agree with you, Brian, uh, throw a point in there on your under. Um, if you are Belichick, as you said, you need to protect the defense if you do have problems. And he doesn't want the Saints offense on there because they can score, especially in the dome there. But to the flip side, I don't like what the Saints are doing with the three running backs. You talk to anybody. I mean, they had, all three running backs got significant carries, six or seven carries. Instead of one guy getting 15 to 17 carries and just spelling them, they had three guys get carries. You cannot get a rhythm as a running back. You talk to any good running back, they say they get better as the game progresses when they get more carries and they get that rhythm. I don't like what they're doing. They got Peterson down there. Someone's not going to be happy with splitting up the carries. I think that's something they're going to have to address moving forward. All right, guys, check it out. We got a coupon for you. Save $10 at Wager Talk. You can use the coupon code Triple G and the number 10. That's three G's and the number 10, and you can get $10 off any package this weekend at Wager Talk. We'll be back with more here at wagertalk.com.